What's up everyone? Welcome back to Operation Life. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about the snake diet and why I think the snake diet long term versus short term is good or bad. But first, we got to do our 100 plus training session. So let's get to that. Let's do this. Set to 75 today. Yeah, get it! You can do it. You gotta stay focused, you gotta stay positive, and you gotta always remember your why. You can reach your goals, and you will reach your goals. Positive affirmations. Sometimes you need to use them. Sometimes you need to tell yourself while looking at yourself in the mirror that you can do it. You are strong enough. You can reach your goals and you will reach your goals. Don't stop when it burns. Stop when you can't go in anymore. Uh. 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 Oh. Excuse me. Does anyone else feel like that they're gonna hurl when they work out in a fasted state? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> oh, man. Whenever I work out in a fasted state, I feel like I'm gonna puke my guts out. Which is weird, because there's no food to come out. So what's that about, huh? Do you know? If you do know, if you think you know, leave in the comments below. Why? Because I'd like to know. I might know the actual answer to that. Mm. Oh God, <laughs> that, that was a killer workout right there. Hopefully I'm holding the camera steady. We might have to walk back over there and, uh, and talk because I may or may not be able to hold this camera steady right now. But what a great workout. Obviously towards the end there, I wasn't doing so hot. Got a little bit of water in me. Feeling a lot better. Uh, so the snake juice diet, or the snake diet. Is Cole Robinson the original founder of what's called the snake diet? By name, yes. By fasting with an electrolyte drink? No, he is not. And if you wanna say that I'm wrong, go ahead and leave it in the comments below because there is lots and lots of proof that he is not the first one. If you know the original, 
uh, founder of Fasting with an Electrolyte Drink. Go ahead and put that in the comments below. Should you snake diet on snake juice, long term or short term? This is my personal opinion, and I will give you a reason behind my personal opinion. My thoughts on this are that you should be doing it short term. Long term is beneficial for weight loss and building a strong mind and detoxing your body uh, from carbs, sugars, caffeine, and anything that you could be addicted to food wise. Short term for weight loss and muscle retention and gains. Now last year, when I first started fasting, I did not start with the snake diet. I started with a freshwater fast, which I do not recommend. It was absolutely brutal. And I did it uh, for 21 days, which I did post the videos on my channel. Uh, there is a playlist. Feel free to check that out if you'd like. Uh, if I remember, I will put something in the corner of the video, one of these corners, uh, so that you can go to that playlist. Now, I started out at 396 pounds, and in nine months, I dropped all the way down to 230 pounds. That's 169 pounds I lost last year. Not in the 21 days, but in nine months. So after I did the 21 days, I took five weeks off of fasting, slowly refed, got back into normal eating habits, and then started the snake diet at about 311 pounds and dropped all the way down to or no, I started at 313 pounds and dropped all the way down to 230 while I was OTR truck driving the last several months of that fasting series. And everyone was saying that you couldn't go from being obese to losing the weight and still being overweight and then regaining all the weight just to lose it again. You couldn't do it. It wasn't possible. Well, when I was gaining the weight back, I noticed that throughout those nine months that I had lost that 169 pounds, I also noticed I lost a lot of strength. I lost a lot of muscle. And when I was weighing 230 pounds, I did not have as much muscle definition as I wanted. You couldn't see any biceps. You couldn't see any shoulder definition. And back when I weighed 220 pounds, 230 pounds before, you could. Like I had a lot of muscle definition before. So that concerned me. So this time around, I decided that I was gonna do things a little bit different. I was gonna start with the longest fast I possibly could do. I shot for 30 days. I missed it by seven days. I came up to 23 days. That was a bummer, that was kind of a letdown, but I didn't let it discourage me. So I started doing shorter fasts and working out, exercising, resistance training with 10 pound dumbbells, hey everyone? Just 10 pounds. There, now it's right side up. Just 10 pounds. Man, that thing's heavy after a workout. <laughs> and then I made some battle ropes, okay? Then I was able to get a 20 pound dumbbell. Now I'm slowly working into more and more exercises for my 100 plus daily training sessions. Now this is a form of nuclei overload training. If you don't know about it, I don't recommend you do it. And if you wanna learn more about it, I highly recommend you research the ever living heck out of it. Now, Birds are crazy. I'm not sure if you heard that. Uh, every day I work out a different portion of my, my, my arms or my shoulders or my chest or my triceps. I will uh, target certain areas of that muscle and rotate it around every other day. Every other day I, I, I change things up just a little bit, just enough so I don't overwork the muscles. Now I am taking one day off and doing extremely light training, just battle ropes, maybe some plain old body squats and some planks and not lifting the actual 20, but lifting the tens instead. So to me, that's a very light day. I'm still doing a hundred reps of everything that I'm doing, but I'm just not using the 20. I'm trying to allow my body to recover. And on those recovery days, I take in more food. Okay. Instead of doing like a, a, a long 20, 20 to four window intermittent fast or a 24 hour fast, I'll drop it down to a 16 and eight intermittent fast with, uh, with about 1500 to 1800 calories, extremely high in protein, extremely good fats, like uh, spinach, avocado, uh, cottage cheese, chopped up carrots, chopped up cabbage, 
uh, mixed in all in together with some shredded chicken and maybe some chopped up bacon. It's a good meal, it's healthy, it's, it's good calories, and uh, it's good for you. I don't remember where I was going with this. Shorter fasts. I agree with shorter fasts. Why? Because of muscle retention and muscle gain. You don't want to lose your muscle on long-term fasting, consecutive long-term fasting. There has not been enough studies to prove that you don't lose muscle throughout long-term consecutive fasting. I've experienced it. Other people that I know have experienced it. There's a reason why Cold Robinson on the snake diet is now recommending that you do short-term fasting and exercise more. And if you're too lazy, that you just get out and walk. Get your lazy butt up off the couch and just walk. Or snake walk. Ooh. Okay. Short-term fasting is better for your muscles in the long run. You're, la you're able to do more in during those short-term fasts. When you start losing weight, you get more energy. When you start exercising, you gain more energy. Maybe not through your workout because you're busting your hump trying to get through your workout, but then you get energy in return afterwards. So the more energy you have, the more you can exercise, the more you can be mobile, the more fat you can lose. Short-term fasting is going to be better for you in the long run. This is my personal opinion. This is based off of several years of trial and error with fasting and experiencing it firsthand. I don't recommend consecutive long-term fasting sessions because you risk losing your muscle. Now, if you want to do it, that is totally fine. I will be in full 110 support of whatever kind of fasting you want to do. I'm here to help you and support you and motivate you and inspire you in any way that I possibly can to help you get healthy, lose weight, and get to your goals. If long-term fasting is going to be what that's get, that is, then so be it. I'm here to support you. Go ahead, send me a message, join the WhatsApp group, join us on the Operation Life Nation on uh, the Life app. Join us with the fasting. Let me see how long you can fast. If you want to do short-term fasting, let me know. You're more than happy to, or more than welcome to join those groups. We're more than happy to have you. We've got a huge support system of like-minded people that are here to support you, motivate you and inspire you and help you keep going so that you can reach your goals and success with whatever weight loss, muscle gains that you want. That's where I stand, everyone. I believe in the shorter fast. Snake diet, yes, I believe in the snake diet. Fasting in general, yes, I believe in fasting in general. Intermittent fasting, yes, I believe in intermittent fasting. Alternate day fasting, yes, I believe in alternate day fasting. Holy smokes, I'm starting to feel like Oprah right now. All right, we've got to stop this video. I'm getting a little crazy because my energy level's starting to spike again. Maybe I'll just go work out and vomit like crazy. I may as well get my fat body back into shape, right? Let's do this. So until next time, be sure you like, subscribe, and comment to this video. Share it with everyone that you want to. Until next time, we'll see all you beautiful people on the next video. Peace. <laughs>